Si tuviéramos working. If we could work, none of us would be living like this, he says. Denver facing a record number of migrants, straining resources, leaving many on the streets. Were you, are you hoping, wow, that would, you could just see the wind here, again, and tents blowing, wow. See. Alexander from Venezuela complains of the freezing conditions. He shows us how he's been living. He says this foam protects the tent from the wind. This is your bed? This is how he looks for work, he says. And you, you, that's your sign. But it's just getting too cold here in Denver, and they need to start moving uh, the people out inside into shelters. There's not a lot of space here, but the city is doing its best. They're just worried about what's going to happen with their stuff. Migrant advocate Yoli Casas urgently tries to help move families. My heartbroken heart is like Denver is officially full. No one should come. There's no room. They're going to be outside freezing to death. The city has 40,000 migrants with about 4,000 in shelters, which are now at capacity. Yo soy Miguel, yo soy el alcalde. Denver's mayor, Mike Johnston, visits a shelter. Andrina, mucho gusto. ¿Cómo estás? He's immediately surrounded by migrants asking for help. Bueno, para que vea la situación de todos nosotros. Yeah. It's good for him to see what's happening, she says, worried she'll end up in the streets with her son. She's thankful, she says, but sorry she came here illegally. Republican Texas Governor Greg Abbott has sent thousands of migrants to Denver on buses, which continue to arrive. You've had conversations with um, Greg Abbott. I, mean, I, I, or I have not, not talked really. to Governor Abbott. Talk I've reached out okay. to him, but we, he has, He's not called he has not back. called me back. So if you, I mean, what do you want to talk to him about? If you were, if you could speak to him. Yeah, I mean, what I, what I would say to him is that I understand. You know, they feel like they have a huge influx of people that they can't handle in Texas alone. I agree with him that no one state or no one city should need to solve this entire challenge, but I think there's a way for us to work together. Migrants could cost the city $180 million this year, the mayor says, and it's on the verge of cutting essential services. We don't want to take police officers off the street. We don't want to take firefighters off the street. We don't want to not do trash pickup or not have our parks and recreation centers open. The strain on resources frustrating others in need. They're using a bend, don't break approach, but I think you need to help our, uh, the American side first, is, is, you know, before you help, you know, it, the influx of migrants before us, yeah. Seeking relief, mayors like Johnston pleading for more federal help, allowing migrants to work. What is your name? ¿Cómo se llama? Wilfred. Wilfred, okay. So he's telling us he needs a warm place to stay. It's about 20 degrees or so. No, no. Hay. There's no place to go, he says. Aquí si uno se... se... You can die from the cold here. You can. It's going to get much colder. You have to go inside, sir. Okay? Oh, look, look, look. At night, we learn of a group sheltering under a bridge. There's a group of people coming here now to try and take them inside, but it's just too cold to be outside. But this is how they've been living. If they could pack up a suitcase, uh, that is as much as they can bring. With limited city resources, residents are stepping in like Pastor Keith Reeser, who's opening up his church. As far as you know, are we ready to walk or do we need to stay for a little bit? Okay. So what's your goal here now? Uh, we, we've got some friends. I uh, grabbed a couple of my buddies and I said, let's go get them and let's get them out of this situation. So we're gonna offer them shelter for the night. Seven in my vehicle, so I can take seven. Another resident is using her motel as a sanctuary. Can I come? Housing about 300 migrants for free. So how many stay here? All of these mattresses? Yeah. One, two, around three. Around 20. Around 20, just in this one room. Yeah. She is like a mother to us, he says. Seriously, she gets up at 5 in the morning and cooks us breakfast. Young Prince was planning to leave Denver to retire. But when migrants started showing up at her hotel, she found a reason to stay. My parents come from North Korea. Your parents? I was hungry. I was a kid. We don't have any meals. 
efter det långt här. Jag bor nog 52 år och är det två år. Så det är så att vi gör det. De har touched a certain part of you. Yeah. And it's almost like they've become your family. Yeah, they are. I want to make sure they're eating. You want to make sure they're eating, taking care of. 